Now let's quickly define the button as well as the text view and then refer to the view of the button in the layout file Now we'll use the set on click listener on the button so that whenever the button is clicked we can display the names of the district as well as the state selected or use it in any way you want. Let's use if else statement and to compare two strings we need to use equals method. So if the selected state equals select your state text that means none of the state has been selected so in that case we are just going to display one toast to let the user know that none of the state was selected and let's make the length of this toast too long then dot show then we will set the error on the text view of the state so tv state spinner dot set error and the text that we want to display is state is required and then we'll have to request the focus all right so as you can see if we don't use the request focus the text is not going to be displayed or the error text is not going to be displayed with the text view so for that we will have to use request focus and also we have to make these two text view focusable so for that let's just get into the layout file activity underscore main and here we need to define two properties first is focusable and here we'll set true then second is focusable in touch mode this also needs to be true then copy these two these two properties and paste it in the second text view also that is the text view which is for the district and as well as the text view which is for the states then restart your app and if you click on the submit button without selecting any state you can see the error being displayed now even after i have selected the state and i click on the button the error is not vanishing or the error is not going so we need to take care of those case also so let's use else if selected district dot equals select your district and let me just copy paste this toast then let me set the error here Now let's restart the app. And uh, okay, if we click on submit button without selecting the state, it's showing the error. Now we have selected the state and click on submit. So now the error is on the district and the state as well. But in such case, since we have already selected the state, the error from the state should vanish so we will take care of that case here so we'll just set the error to null with the tv state spinner 
which means the text view which is for the state spinner here we will set the error to null so that the error goes away from the state after we have selected a state so let's just restart the app and see all right the error is there and we select any state and then we click on submit the error from the state has vanished now the error is on the district now all right now let's have one more else statement in this case we'll just remove the error from the state as well as the district text view and we'll just copy the toast and uh, here we'll just display the name of the state which was selected as well as the name of the district which was selected backslash n is going to insert a new line all right everything is perfect now you can go ahead and test the app you can use these spinners in any way you want or if you want to design them more you can go ahead and do that like i'm just going to add one border around the spinner to make it look different from the text view so for that i'll just get into spinner layout and add one background and here I will use at drawable forward slash border. Then I'll get into the drawable folder and uh, I'll click on new and then I'll define a new drawable resource file. I'll give the name border. I'll just get rid of these two lines. And I'll define a shape tag. Under this, let's have one solid. Here we will define the color. Then stroke. Stroke defines the border, that is the border has to be 1 dp wide and with the color dark gray. And then the corners. We want the corner to be little round, so we will use the radius as 5 dp. And you can restart the app and see the difference. Now everything is perfect. So if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to download the entire code you can you can refer to my profile on github there you will find android multiple spinner Or if you want just to download the files that I have created, you can download them. The link is in the description. It will take you to Google Drive and you can download the files. They will have mainactivity.java and other files. And also if you open readme text, you can find the directory in which these files have to be kept so that there is no confusion. Alright with this we have completed this video. If you have liked the video don't forget to subscribe and click on like button. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.